top of the day to you once more great and lovely people of biafra um it has come to my notice that many persons are you know propagating propaganda against mazinam de Kano in respect of the court um decision um yesterday i really did not want to speak about what happened in court because i was very very annoyed with the outcome and um very annoyed with the way they have been postponing and you know that decision making in the court it has been very appalling and you know um um and uh, 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 unpleasant to even um listen to um but one reason why i'm here today is because of some headlines i have been seeing around uh where people are saying that mazin namdekano pleads for political solution or mazin namdekano is pleading uh for forgiveness or whatever they have been posting online and that is the reason why i have come here to let us know the outcome of yesterday's uh court case and uh, the and the truth of the whole uh, matter and the court case yesterday. The truth is that uh, uh, the Justice Binta Nyako advised both uh, the defense counsel and uh, the prosecuting counsel to, uh, you know, seek um, redress out of court. Um, she, you know, uh, went further to say that there is opportunity for the federal government and Mazanam Dekano to actually decide or have a discussion and um, come to an agreement or a compromise that uh, would be suitable for both of them so that they can discontinue this case um, um, in the court. And so that is her advice or suggestion to both Mazen and Kano and, um, and um, the prosecuting counsel, which is Nigeria. And so it is not anybody's decision, but it is a suggestion from the court. And um, that suggestion is a welcome um, suggestion because the federal government did that for Yelesho Ore and they also did that for Bodejo, the, the, the leader of Mieti Allah. And so we are looking at why is it that um, for, for Biafra or for the eastern region, it becomes a problem that they cannot do the same for the eastern region. So we are hoping that this would be a turning point. And this is um, also an insight or an eye opener to people that if you look closely, you will see that the activities of the Prime Minister, like Simon Joko, has led to what you are seeing today because it is the pressure that it, that uh, uh, the, the, the Biafra Republic of Menti Exile has, has, has placed that is causing um, this kind kind of talks and decisions um to 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 pop up and so we must um continue to encourage um the prime minister and the biafra republic of maintenance to continue to do what they are doing even more to ensure that the pressure is um at the highest level so that these people will do the right thing thank you and we are going to give you um a video of the whole thing so that you are going to hear um directly from mazin namdekano and um his lawyers. Are you seeking an out of court settlement with the federal government? If it's, it's them that is holding me, they should tell me what they want to do. The direct question, yes. sir, are you seeking an out of court settlement with the federal government? I can't seek what I didn't initiate. They are the ones that kidnapped me and brought me here. So, but it's whatever you, they say that will happen. But your lawyer is happen. trying to move section 17 of the Federal High Court Act, yes. which calls for negotiation. Are you in line with that? I reminded the judge of. Uh, powers, I mean, it's, it's the judge's powers. I don't think it's, it's mm. within his powers. Mm. It's, it's for the judge to decide. Mm. Okay, so you would, would you want the judge to decide that? Yes. It is up to our discretion to do that. Okay, but now she has sent you to but, the AGF. Mm. So how would you explore that particular uh, position of the court? Well, the, the prosecutor who is prosecuting by fiat is not opposed to that. He too said we can go to AGF. And we are saying AGF can also come to us. So that, that means uh, they are open to the prospects of reconciliation. That's what the law says. Okay. He's actually quoting the law, what the law says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not me. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. sir. Exactly. Well, uh, what, what you heard in court about Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act is simply what the National Assembly enacted. The National Assembly enacted at that Section 17 that reconciliation shall be promoted by the court between parties before the court, criminal or civil. 
So it, it so happened, and it came to pass that today that very issue was briefly considered in open court. So it is either for the court in its wisdom to initiate it and direct that parties do go and engage in such conversation, which the court did indirectly by not opposing it and by even suggesting it, or the parties themselves, either party, either the defendant or the prosecution can initiate it. So that's not very unusual. Uh, recently, we saw a situation where the Attorney General of the Federation took steps under Section 174 of the Constitution, which is very similar to Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act. He took that position to discontinue the prosecution of two very high-profile cases in this country. The first one concerning Wole, Yele, Shawole, and the second one concerning Bodijo of Mieteala. So these things are not unusual. So if they do occur as a conversation in open court, it's just as a matter of course. So people might wonder why such a situation should not apply to Madin Nazin Nandekano, and that is what played out in court today. Well, we have gotten to that same point, our court judicial statements. And more importantly, it has come to the point where national interest is supposed to come into play. I thank the lawyers for holding for to this particular moment. And I appreciate what the judge said, which is what we have been coming here saying from day one, that we cannot resolve this thing through the judicial angle at this moment. And we have said from day one, both from the moment his house was raided, from the moment he was uh, extradited from Kenya and so on and so forth, that numerous courts in the land have declared those actions null and void. So why are we still here? And federal government has also adopted that same approach in the major LA issue where they fired uh, discontinuance. They have also done it in so many issues where they fired discontinuance. And when we, had, when we had all these issues in Niger Delta, there was reconciliation and discussions. When we had all these issues, even in uh, North East, there was the same issue. North Central, there was the same issue. So how come we have gotten to the South East, then nobody is having this conversation? So I'm pleased with the decision of the Federal High Court today. It's already there under Section 17. And it's also there under Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution that government can discontinue. And grounds for discontinuing is national interest, public interest. And I represent the people. Likewise, my brother, other lawmakers from the South East, we can go home most of the times. There is insecurity everywhere. People are being killed. Businesses are affected. Foreign remittance to our place is going down because people are leaving those rural areas. So it's a matter of public interest and national interest that government considers this option provided under Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act and Section 174. And the ball is now in the court of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu government. As somebody who wants to renew interest, it's time to renew interest in the South East by opening the gate and let Mazin and the can go home. And let's now open the conversation for addressing the challenges that led to this issue. Yes. Thank you. And um, everything, of, of course. And some of these um, soldiers were told are also our people. Is yes. Yes. And the family is now in mourning. Yes. So all, all, the, all the all the making of um, young widows is condemned in entirety. I don't want it. I don't want anybody to die. Yes. We are fighting for freedom. Then how can we fight for them? It's not possible. We want people to be free. That's all we're fighting for. Nothing wrong. We've suffered a lot in Africa. I don't know if you know that. Africans have suffered from slavery in Arabia to slavery in Europe to slavery in America. So I think we should focus our time and devote it towards making sure that this continent stands up to what God promised it is going to be. And that's what we're doing, what we're doing.